So, you want to hear about Kylie Jenner's self-made billionaire fairy tale? Imagine stepping into the world's glitziest relay race with a silver spoon baton and a head start halfway to the finish line. That's our Kylie. Sprinting through the fame field fueled by the Kardashian-Jenner empire's rocket fuel. She flipped that fame into a cosmetic empire that would make Midas blush. Selling lip kits like hotcakes to hungry audience already drooling over every Instagram post. Sure, she calls it self-made, but when your starting block is on Mount Olympus, it's a different race altogether. This girl turned her reality TV gold into even shinier gold, all while keeping her foot on the gas pedal of social media, turning every selfie into a cash register ka-ching. And let's not forget the cherry on top, selling a chunk of her beauty empire for a cool $600 million, only to splurge on that kind of luxury that make a pharaoh jealous. Uh, to be young, rich, and famous with a business empire that seems to grow on trees, planted by your equally famous family, of course. In 2015 and out of the blue, Kylie decides to drop a bunch of lip kits priced at a not-so-modest $29 a pop. Seems like any other celeb trying to make a quick buck, right? But oh boy, did those babies fly off the shelves. Fast forward six weeks and it's like she's printing her own money. Word on the street was that by 2022, she'd be swimming in a cool $1 billion from her makeup line alone. Talk about a glow up from selling overpriced lipstick. Kylie, ever so modest, once chirped to Complex about wanting to rub shoulders with the big makeup moguls and daydreamed about basking in the Forbes spotlight. Lo and behold, before she could even legally sip a martini, Forbes crowned her the youngest ever self-made billionaire. Self-made. Really? Let's dive into that rabbit hole for a second. You see, most 20-somethings are trying to make rent, and there's Kylie, sitting on a throne of lip kits and cash. Sure, she might not be the loudest Kardashian Jenner, but when it comes to the bank balance, she's laughing all the way to it. Now, some naysayers will yap about how Kylie's success is all thanks to her momager Chris pulling the strings, but hold up. We're here to peep behind the curtain and see why Kylie's not just riding the Kardashian coattails, to the bank. First off, Kylie flipped her biggest insecurity, her lips, into the biggest money maker. Flash back to a teenage Kylie getting dissed for her small lips. Ouch, right? But instead of wallowing, she turned that critique into a multi-million dollar idea. Fast forward to her confessing and life of Kylie, how some randos comment on her kissing skills, or lack thereof, due to her thin lips had her shook. But plot twist, instead of just sulking, she grabbed a lip liner and started plotting her empire. Her authenticity, or genius marketing move, tomato, tomato, struck a chord and when she launched her lip kits, it was like Black Friday on steroids. The whole thing sold out in less than 60 seconds, crashing her sight and probably causing a few meltdowns in the process. Now, let's talk cash. Despite being born with a silver spoon in her mouth, Kylie claims she was financially cut off at the ripe old age of 14. Sounds like a tough love episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. But somehow, this chick figured out how to turn that spoon into a golden empire. So here's to Kylie's lip kits, turning teenage insecurities and a hefty dose of family fame into a billionaire dollar blueprint. Cheers, Kylie. You really showed them how to pout all the way to the bank. So Kylie throws around this tale about how, despite living in a mansion, she had to learn the value of a dollar the hard way. My parents were like, time to make your own cash, kiddo, she claims, and she insists with a straight face that not a dime of her fortune was just handed to her. Sure, Jan. 
She paints this picture of herself as this scrappy entrepreneur who poured every last dime into launching her biz, not knowing if it was going to tank or soar. Fast forward a bit and she's making it rain millions, boasting a success story that would make even the most seasoned Silicon Valley vets do a double take. Apparently, she's right up there with the business gurus, turning her startup into a gold mine with what she claims was a million percent sent markup because you know that's totally a common thing that happens now on to the juicy bit about overhead cost Kylie's approach to business expenses is like playing a game of dodgeball and winning while blindfolded. While most entrepreneurs are bleeding cash paying for things like staff, customer service, and those pesky marketing campaigns, Kylie just noped right out of all of that. Her company, Kylie Cosmetics, runs leaner than my last diet. With just a handful of full-timers and a sprinkle of part-timers, you'll find more people working on a Saturday shift at your local boutique. As for the nitty gritty of making and shipping her products, Kylie outsourced everything to Seed and Shopify because why bother with the hassle of doing it yourself when you can just get someone else to do it? And marketing? Pfft. With a social media army at her beck and call, she's got all the promotion she needs with zero spend. Slap a new lip kit on her Instagram and boom, instant sellout. How did she avoid the problems of starting her own stores? That's a money pit for many a hopeful business, but not for our Kylie. She went straight for the jugular of online sales until she could no longer ignore the siren call of retail. Then instead of going solo, she cozied up with Ulta, ensuring her products flew off shelves without the hassle of actually having to stock them herself. It's like showing up to the party late and still getting the best piece of cake. And while most companies have a whole roster of, of execs to share the spoils, Kylie's over there playing every role from CEO to janitor, ensuring that cash flows directly into her pockets. No investors to answer to, no profit sharing, just Kylie and her mountain of money, thanks to her early days of modeling. Now, for the pizza de resistance of Kylie's business savvy, creating a frenzy with the old now you see it, now you don't trick. Ever notice how everything on her website is perpetually sold out? That's not an accident. It's marketing gold. She's the queen of FOMO, making her fans think they'll miss out if they don't smash that buy button that nanosecond something drops. And when the inedible sellout happens, where do you turn for comfort, Kylie's social media. Of course, for a chance to ride the emotional roller coaster all over again. And wait for it, because in the kingdom of Twitter, folks lost their marbles. Suddenly, those $29 lip kits, which, let's be for real, are basically glorified chapstick, started fetching almost a grand on eBay. It's like finding a designer label on a pair of socks and deciding that they're now worth the same as a mortgage payment. Kylie's genius plan, it seems, was making her makeup the Hermes bag of cosmetics. Pricey, elusive, and status symbol for your face. Now, let's gab about Kylie Jenner's social media sorcery for a sec because it's a spectacle. Queen Kylie, the Snapchat sorceress, has turned her fame into a full-blown marketing hurricane. With a snap of her fingers, or more accurately, a snap of her lip kits, she sends her followers into a buying frenzy. She's like the Pied Piper of beauty products, leading her followers into the magic land of endless cosmetics and oh, when she teases new shades on her snap, it's not just a sneak peek, it's a full-on spoil alert for your bank account. But let's not kid ourselves, it's not just Snapchat where she weaves her magic. With a whopping 129 million Instagram devotees and 26.8 million Twitter followers by March 2019, Kylie's basically the digital Oprah of beauty. When she whispers, you get a lip kit and you get a lip kit, the world listens, likes, and liquidates their savings. And the kicker? While most brands hustle hard with a team of social media wizards to cast a spell on their audience, Kylie's got the 
this magic touch that turns everything into gold. No biggie, just a casual day in the life of a beauty mogul. Switching gears to lifestyle, because honestly, who isn't low-key or high-key living vicariously through her? Kylie's not just selling lipstick, she's peddling a dream. A dream where you too can glide through life in luxury cars looking bomb AF and hanging with your equally gorgeous squad. It's not just about the shades, it's about buying a one-way ticket to Glamourville, population, you, if you can afford it. But oh, the origin story of these magical lip kits is just as juicy as reality TV plot twist. Picture this, Kylie, the teenage lip wizard, denies the whisperings of lip fillers only to later reveal her cosmetic enhancement like a plot twist in a soap opera. And boom, enter the lip kits, riding in like the cavalry, promising plump perfection. Now, on to the marketing magic. Kylie's Instagram isn't just a profile, it's a gold mine. Each post is basically a winning lottery ticket, earning her a cool million bucks. And let's not forget her secret weapon, the Kardashian Jenner Glam Squad. With shades named after her famous family, she's got a built-in brand ambassador living right under her roof. Kylie's business acumen isn't just luck. It's legacy. From nail varnish deals as a kiddo to high fashion collabs as a teen, she's been groomed for greatness. Who needs a resume when your life is a masterclass in marketing?